I... Okay, that's an okay start. That's good. I mean... I've done it a billion times. But I'll do it. We'll put her up there. Steward behind. Hopefully do some damage to that guy. Let's see. Kill him. March your shields. Torch that guy. We need that shard channeler. There he is. And Shield Man will not will not actually do any damage to the boss, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay. I guess honestly best option is trying oh. Well shoot, I just realized if I tortured that guy we would have been oh, it's fine. It's okay. March of shields. Just keep doing damage to that guy. Alright. No. Yep, he will kill himself. Cool. Pull him forward. Not much for it. Alright, we're good. And... So we got spikes. I... I guess my beef with spikes is just that I've done this a lot. Hey, there's the fledgling imp. These are tough. So... Alpha Fiend scales on its own. Animus of Speed gives me enough space that I can get the the spike. If Alpha Fiend had multi-strike... Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. I should try for that at some point. Because, yeah, Animus of Speed is so much better with Steel Enhancer. Uh... I was just thinking, like, it would be really interesting to have a heavy multi-strike Alpha Fiend build. So we might want capacity. We need energy, obviously, but we might want some capacity sooner than later. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. We need the Merchant of Magic, and there's some things. Uh... A permafrost just makes it so it sits in your hand. Which just sucks. Okay, this time around, I'm gonna put a moratorium on... ...spending money on purging. I should've gone with that. Maybe. I just didn't need the Awoken Banner. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I might be a bit spooky. But I should be okay. Do I march of the shields? Yeah, I'll march of shields. We're gonna have a very busy top floor. Oh, she's not the one that didn't. Oh, she she does haste. I get you. Okay, so we have Undying Rage. Steel Enhance her. We're gonna take some damage, though. 
in that case, I'm actually going to just reduce the amount of damage that our tank's going to take. Otherwise, she might die. I should probably consider just boosting her. But this works better. Okay, here we go. So, fine grasp that guy. And unfortunately, I have that goddamn imp sitting in there, so we don't actually have the spikes. Might not be a big deal, though. I'll just kill the imp. We'll just hope it cycles back around. It probably will. It did not, but that's okay. We do enough damage. We have enough scaling. The my animus of speed can actually just blow through it. Oh, let's see. Do I want a glim? Nah, let's get the pyre shards. And let's get branding right. The more armor I can stack, the better. It's honestly better than healing. To some degree. Glimmer might have made more sense, but that's eh, fine. Okay. Got a lot of money. Go for the artifact? Yeah. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's see if I can do something cool. So there's Endless. Okay, we don't really need to give anything HP, do we? I'll save my money. I guess I'll go for that, just in case. It feels weird to me that oh, some people can only now start playing Final Fantasy. Unfortunately, I'm I'm one of the like the last people uh, that gets to play Final Fantasy, which kind of sucks. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Final Fantasy VII broke street like two weeks ago in some countries because they wanted to, uh, they wanted to get it out in front of people. And it makes sense. It makes perfect sense, honestly. But it just sucks for me. I, I almost kind of wish they were just like, well, street date's broken. We're just going to allow the download. But I understand why they didn't do that. All right. Maybe I want a glimmer after the, after all. All right. I'm going to work on extinguishing those. I'd like to get the shard channeler down, but we actually need more space for that. Okay. Pyre shards, march of shields, and we'll torch it. I'd like to get the train stewards down so they're not in my way, but I don't have a choice. At least right, not right now. Okay, there we go. So there's the fledgling imp in front. Everybody gets rage. She gets boosted. Okay, we can put him down. And I'll heal the bomb. So the nice part about this is now we have semi-infinite rage scaling. Unfortunately, we do not have the double uh, summon bonus, but that's okay. All right. Put him in front. Branding right, and I'm just gonna put him down. I'd like to do mar March of Shields, but I want to get rid of the um. I the endless imp needs to die every round, if I can manage it. Okay, fledgling imp. I guess I could have done March of Shields beforehand, but whatever. Okay, kill him. Imp's dead. We are all good. Alright, so this is working. So yeah, we have... We have peak rage right now, which is really strong. Let's see. 
Do that. Get rid of one of these guys. I don't actually... Okay, that reduces the damage we take by a smidge. Okay. So once again, Fledgling Imp. I guess I'm just going to focus on healing up. We need the armor, but we do so much damage that I don't know if it's necessary. Let's see, important work with Holdover. We'll kill the Imp every turn and give you one card and six energy. Oh, yeah. No, that would that would be absolutely lovely. I just have to get important work before I can pull that off. Uh, let's see. Do we want one extra energy or do we actually want one bonus capacity? No, it's good for the extra energy. We need the one extra energy, and then we can either do draw our capacity. But one horn's, horn's tomb, tome is just too good, and I will skip these. Yeah, so now we've now we've got the scaling we need. It's not perfect, but it's better scaling than I've had before. Uh, honestly, let's go. Purging is probably more useful. We have taken some damage, and the extra money would be kind of nice. But we don't have important work. Yeah, we gotta purge. We've got too many torches. Okay. And honestly, buffing the Animus of Speed in this manner is actually, that's worth it. And, okay, I can remove one more thing. I keep getting rid of the torches. They cost energy and they don't help me in the slightest. Let's see, what do we got? Awoken Banner, I'm just going to skip that. And let's save our money, because picking up some relics might not be a good idea. Or might not be a bad idea. Uh, mm. Spikes 3. I think I want to wait on that one. Oh, you can look ahead on the map for landmarks. No one's ever told me that one, actually. That would have been kind of nice to know. Oh, shit. Wait, no, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're quick. I was like, oh crap, it's these guys. I hate them. And the answer is no, it's never... It, it doesn't matter. Well, he gets away, doesn't he? Balls. No, 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 no. What am I doing? I wanted that money! So I, I should have gone for the multi-strike after all. A little sad mad. Oh shit! My imp doesn't die anymore. We need important work. Uh. Okay, so I can I can kill them. That's good. Let's see. So yes, I can use vines to kill it. I can also use branding to kill it. Using branding right to kill it seems so freaking wasteful, but we need the rage.
Because otherwise, we're just not going to be able to win. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, in this case... That's fine. So a thinner deck will solve this problem. Important work would solve all problems. And especially my energy problems and some other things. Okay, so what do we get? I think Pyrogrow is fine. And a Transcend Imp. 100%. Still wishing I had important work, but I'll do whatever. Okay. Nah. Let's let's go left. Let's see what we get. Let's get the consumed crown. I don't think we have any regen. I'm gonna grab the vapor funnel. Yeah, you wanna look ahead now that you've got the chance? Yeah, sure. Where am I? I'm here. Okay. Because, yeah, there are no purge gates on this one. we still got a ways to go. And a lot of purging to be done. I don't really have a specific plan on this one. Does that bring back all the copies of the Rage Imp Boy? It'll duplicate the effect, yes. So if I did the fledgling imp, we would have stupid rage generation. The main problem would be I wouldn't be able to get rid of them. And the thing about endless is top of the draw pile when they die. That means I would only be drawing rage imps every single turn. That's actually really bad. I'm going to be hilarious, but I don't have the space for that. Nor do I really have the easy way to kill them all. I'm going to go one horns. Which is also scary. But if I can make it work, everything dies. Uh, let's see. So at this point, we actually want revenge draw one. The spikes are not actually useful uh, anymore. We're, we're not going for a spike build. In retrospect, I'm going to even get rid of the, uh, the spike thing. Uh, let's see. If I give a multi-strike, I... I'm going to chance it. Okay, here's the question. 
No, we need we need the rage. I should have spiked him. Oh, this suddenly got very scary. Very fast. Yeah, so the problem is the fledgling imps are actually screwing me over. Because I'm not quick enough. In fact, I'm not quick in the slightest. Okay. Alright, he's doing sweep. That didn't help. Let's see, this boss does not have a sweep. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think we still win. But it was a lot dicier than it needed to be, than I wanted it to be. Okay, we're good. So, that was a good pivot. We more or less turned my, uh, my main guy into a murder machine, which is good. Uh, well, that double spike damage, that's kind of good. Don't want an invigorating solution? I'll grab it. Same thing with the imp in a box. Both of those are really good. I just, oh, sheesh, that got scary. So the extra money, the extra hell vents, some of that stuff is kind of good. I'm not really passionate about it though. Let's keep removing because we, we really desperately have to get rid of a lot of this garbage. Let's get the Hell Banner. And... Give unit extra HP. There's that. Not a good idea. Give unit quick. Could be interesting. Could purge a card. I almost wish I had given the Animus of Speed some more damage. But then again, we're not going to run into any more sweepers. I think I'm going to save my money. We'll have another, uh, 
We'll have another removal thing. Okay, empowers enemies with armor. This is good. And multi-strike stacks. Never knew. Never drew that one horde card. It's... I think it's the last card you you grab. Uh, or you unlock for the Hellhorns. Which makes it very strong. Oh. Hey. I guess in retrospect, honestly, yeah, giving giving my starter uh, or my champion multi strike is not the worst idea considering rage stacking. Okay, so there's the fledgling imp. Let's branding right it. Invigorating solution. Get it again. March of Shields? Yeah, I'll March of Shields it. Because I'm not going to be able to kill it anyway. And we do some nice damage to the uh, boss. What if the Transcendent was given eternal long... Ooh, jeez, that, that would be spooky. That's Pyrogro. God damn it. About as useless as you can get. Alright. Get a Molting Imp. Imp Scholar gets me another imp in a box. I'm going to leave those for a bit. Uh, let's see. Anyway. Uh... Alright. He needs to die. I'm just going to wait on those transcend imps. I guess I probably should have popped them now. I don't actually know if they scale off of each other. I'm assuming not. Because that's not actually a summon bonus. Okay, so they don't even touch me, which is kind of bad, but it's okay. We need that, that extra multi-strike. This is so silly. Honestly, I'm just going to chuck that down there. I'm, I'm just... I need to get rid of the shard channeler. It just... I will never use it because I have a different build. Do the pyre grow. Perfect. We need to do more damage. At least we're not done yet. Okay. Base grip. Get him. Uh, do we dump a transcend him? Yeah, I'm gonna just do it now. Get that back. Boost her some more. All right. So we're we're scaling. We don't have a kill bonus, which sucks a bit, but it's fine. I'll live without a kill bonus. Uh, let's see. Pop that. Give me a hell of a lot more rage. This is so silly. I'll just leave him there there to die. So we get him back on the next round. Presumably I can get the next one. Oh, you're right. I do have the kill bonus. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Oh, boy. That's scary. Everything about this everything is scary. Well, it doesn't even touch me. How much damage am I doing? 1,560. <laughs> Whoo! Yeah, I totally forgot I picked up the crown a while back. Uh, do I want capacity at this point? Not really. I'm going to keep going energy. Let's do last stand.
Okay. So... We could dupe. There's not really much over there. Let's keep going for the purge. We don't need quickness, honestly. Uh, let's see. So let's purge, restore. I'll hold on to one of the restores just because we do actually need to heal. Uh, and I'm just going to get rid of the shard channeler. Okay. That's the meme deck of the day. Multi-strike. So you're planning on doing the Final Fantasy VII Remake? Yeah, in two hours, when it comes out. It's in the title! I I will usually put my schedule up, actually, for people that are wondering. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm just gonna make this one restore worth, worth it. So I have that sitting around. Permafrost. As goofy as this sounds, I'm going to permafrost a vine grasp. Spell shield? Hardly knew it. Now it'll be, I'm looking forward to that. It'll be nice seeing a fresh pair of eyes seeing Final Fantasy for the first, first time. I... Technically, I believe I've actually played through the entirety of what Final Fantasy VII's remake will be. That said, I don't remember anything about it. Like, I, I'm not quite as fresh as some people might be, but I am fresh enough. Okay, get him down. Ultimate Penance. This sucks a little bit as I'm going to be doing a lot of Penance-related actions, and I'm not happy about that one. Freaking Iron Maiden birds. It's gonna cost me so much energy. Well, it's fine. Could rage up, but I think it's a bad idea. Ooh. Nope. We're transcending, big. We gotta kill them all. We need that early rage bonus more than we need the transcend imp. Hey, thank you, Snoopertron, for the two month resub. How's it going? Uh, let's see, we are playing. Monster Train. Alright, there's the rage. Give me the pyro grope. Gets me a goddamn steward. Wait, hold up. That gets me some extra energy. I'm gonna sack him down there, and we get another multi strike. Alright, they all die. Yeah! And they still manage to kill my fledgling imp. This is perfect. Alright. So first and foremost, they all die. That's good. We've got the we've got the scaling down. So ultimate penance, ultimate penance. Imp in a box. Get that. Get this next one down. Blast him there for reasons. And I guess we'll just have to kill him on the next round. It's fine. And thank you, Fadeblade, for the 18 month resub. Heck this and heck that and heck yeah. Yeah! Oh, I absolutely hate penance. Uh, let's see. Guess I'm just gonna stick him there so he dies. Unfortunately, we've got this imposter dude just hanging out. Sucks a bit. As I don't actually want him to be there. Uh, and I can't really get rid of him. I keep killing him. Everything is so expensive. We don't do as much damage, but I think we'll be... I mean, we're more than safe enough. Alright, there we go. Vine Grasp him. We got the other one. Buff up. Pirate Grow. Gets me a goddamn buffed up train steward. I gotta get rid of them. Clearing out my deck is really hard. Like, I'm actively trying for it and it won't let me. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, 
boss dies no matter what. The real question is, what do we want to spend my energy on? I don't know. I guess that, that'll do. Didn't quite work. Do not put imposters on the front line. But then again, I just have to do some other things. It's okay. Hey! We get, uh, Railhammer. Railhammer's really good. I really don't care for any of these. Or well, the regen would be nice. But I don't care. And thank you, Jombiz, for the, uh, 14-month resub. Hope you're doing well this fine evening. Absolutely am. I'm having a good night. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the right. Let's keep purging. Okay. Uh, I still have these train stewards. They need to not be in my deck. God damn it. I thought I cleared my deck out, then I just... You just absorb cards. That's how this game works. Uh, let's get the root split mask. I'll grab both of those. And we're right at the end. Okay. So, more spikes or just a shit ton of health. More spikes. And, let's see. Just reminded, I started following your channel because of Slay the Spire. Yeah! Slay the Spire was a good game. I really liked it. But then I got bored on it. But I think that's kind of true of a lot of games. Okay, all spells have consume, which is a bit spooky. Luckily, most of the uh, spells that I already have, or I'm going to be working with, have consumed to begin with. But it does mean we're not going to be able to do as much rage stacking or armor stacking. Oh, that's a bit scary. Well, this will be interesting. Get the fledgling imp down. Get imp in the box. Invigorating solution. Second imp in the box. There we go. That's what I need. Fire Chomper. Now I got tons of energy. Okay, still not capable of killing them yet, which is a bit annoying. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. We barely have any rage so far, which is awkward, to say the least. So instead, I'm going to do March of Shields, March of Shields, kill him, get the Warder Helper. Oh, the one card that, uh, oh wait, no, never mind, the Vine Grasp did go away. Alright, it's fine. Okay, so let's make this work if I can. Do I have any means of killing this guy or getting him out of there? The answer is freaking no. Alright, I get branding, right? Gosh, I hate wasting it like this. So this might get hairy. Having all of my stuff consume is very bad for business. I'm just going to start doing the transcendims. I'm not happy about it, but we need that we need that rage. And we're not going to be able to get it nearly as fast this time around.
because you have no good way of killing all these dudes. Uh, or, I have no good way of killing the Transcendent, and I don't have enough space. So yeah, what are the things that differentiates between this and Slay the Spire? Uh, I, realistically, if you look at it from weird angles, they're very similar games. Okay, these are my five cards. There's no way that I'm actually going to be able to put them down. Okay, so I'm going to put the Water Helper down, Fledgling Imp down, Transcend Imp down. That's just going to be a, a secondary boosted group. They'll have to delay, because I, I don't have anything else that I can do. I was really hoping I could cycle the Transcendents a little bit more to stack more rage, but... I had... I got nothing. It's fine. We do a decent amount of damage. I think we win this no matter what. Ripes. Let's take a look at this. Oh, let's see. Yeah, no, we win. No problem. Turns out just mass multi-attack is insane. No matter no matter what the boss can chuck at me, you really can't get around 11 quick attacks. But yeah, making all your spell cards consume is so dirty. If I had if I had had endless on um if I'd had Endless on an important work, that could have solved all problems, but still, Fear Rattata comes to mind. <laughs> yeah! Alright. And there's some more Golden Borders. It's not much, but, you know, progress. Was that the final boss? Yeah, at least the current one. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the usual final boss. Is that the first time I've beaten it? Nah. I've won... Is there a quick statistic for that? I've won how many times? Six... Eight times. Out of nowhere close to eight times, but still. 